morning, my brothers and sisters. You are welcome to God's presence. As you have come to this morning, may God surprise you. Today, the topic of message says, who is behind their problems? The problem you are facing, who is against it? Who is against you? Before we proceed, let us worship God. Because He's our Father in heaven who knows the solution of our problem. My comforter, Jesus is my comforter. Savior is my comforter. I am not alone. I am not alone, my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Savior is my comforter, I am not alone, my Redeemer. Jesus is my Redeemer, Savior is my Redeemer, I am not alone. I know there is another fellowship in heaven, I know there is another fellowship in heaven. My brothers and sisters, you are welcome to God's presence. As you, have, as you have come to worship and glorify His holy name. Today, may your mercy, may God's mercy be upon you. May He surprise you. You will see a great change in your life. That problem that is disturbing you, today is over. In the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, I hope you are with your Bible. As you have come with your Bible, please open Isaiah 25, verses 8. We will read it one by one. And the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 4. Please pay attention. The Bible is telling us today that that problem we are fasting through, we are suffering, and then God will take it away. Say so we should remember, He's a God that wipes away our tears, our sorrows, that thing that we are suffering, God will take it away. As God take it away, you will see a great change in your life. You will see a breakthrough. If you read that Isaiah, you will see more. He wiped away the tears of his people. The tears that they have been crying for long. He took it away. Even the disgrace that his people face, that they have been suffering for long. He took it away. He changed their life to be a new life. My brothers and sisters, you will see a great change in your life, in your business. That thing the devil said, you can't make it. I assure you, you will make it. God will put laughter in your mouth. If you read Revelation chapter 1 verses, chapter 21 verses 4, it is also telling us, he will wipe away all our tears, our problems, he will solve it. That cry we have been crying for long. He will clear our tears, our eyes. There will be no more death, no more sorrow, no more grief, no more pains. All this will disappear. He will take it away. Remember, what is that problem God cannot solve? Are there anything that is bigger than God? Do not be discouraged. Do not lose hope. Tomorrow is unknown. The problem you see, the problem you are facing, today is over. We will see it again. My brothers and sisters, do not say God is not existing. He's existing. 
that chapter 18 that is closed. God will open it today. God will show you his miraculous work. He will surprise you. You will see how God will reopen your ways. Everything in your life will come to new. You will laugh and thank God for coming to him. You will see a favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, I dismount every satanic position in your business, your progress, that devil disorganized. You will receive upliftment to enter into a covenant of wealth made for people of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say today, those people that love you, that laugh, they will regret it. God will change your life. I said by faith, you will receive dominion over every satanic challenges in your life, in your area. You will, you will never see them again. God will change your life. You change your story. Who is behind your problem? The problem you are facing, the tears you have been facing, thinking, who is behind it? Oh Lord, arise, be a faithful, and take over this battle. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit deliver you from this matter. Father in heaven, as my brothers and sisters have been experiencing, experiencing all this kind of problem, I pray to you, my brother, I said, that attack, that problem that weigh you down, God will take it away. I pray for protection. Any evil attack against you is destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. God will cast it away into abyss. I decree by fire that untimely death is not your portion, but the portion of your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, do not be discouraged. God is on your side. If God is for you, nobody will be against you. Romans 8, chapter 31. Today, he will put testimony in your mouth. He will surprise you. As you make up your mind to come, your story will change. Your situation will change. That thing has been bothering you. It's over today. In the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, if today is your first day of coming, or first day you have been watching our video, please do not forget to subscribe to God Abundant Grace. You will know more and understand more about God's grace in your life. Because His grace is sufficient for you. He said, come to me. I will give you rest. I will change your life. As you make up your mind to come, May the word of God never depart on you. May God change your level. May that favor you are targeting. That God's grace will be upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Sister Bridget. Or Mrs. Emeronyekwe. Servant of God. May you remain blessed. As you are going out, may His presence be upon you. May the Holy Spirit guide and protect you. He never come back with empty hand. May God shower his miracle upon you. Enemies will never locate you. Bad people will never locate you. God have already taken away sickness, take away attack, take away sorrows, tears, take it away from your life, from your family, from those that love you. Today we can touch Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters.